Now to the continuing saga of accused serial killer Anthony Sowell. The focus right now is a battle by defense attorneys. They're trying to get the judge removed from the case. A hearing to decide whether Judge Shirley Strickland Saffold should step down from the case just got underway at Cleveland's Justice Center. And that is where we find on your side Chief Investigator Dwayne Pullman right now. Dwayne, there are actually two judges being questioned here? That's absolutely correct. The crux of the argument by Sowell's attorneys is that there was an ex parte communication. That is a conversation that happened without attorneys present between Judge Saffold and Judge Tim McGinty, a previous judge in the case. That led to that remarkable sight that you should be seeing now. That is Judge McGinty, a sitting judge in common pleas, being sworn in and testifying in a major court case. Judge McGinty testified that he he did have a brief five-minute conversation over the telephone with Judge Saffold. He admitted that he was the one who showed a court-ordered psychological report on Anthony Sowell to a plain dealer reporter. That became a heated issue. Now, at the crux of that is that that was raised as some sort of conversation that occurred between the judges as being potentially improper, and that's why we're here today. Also, the lawyers for Sowell claiming that that there was uh, a problem with email comments to the plain dealer by the judge herself, and now a problem with a lawsuit that Judge Saffold has filed against the plain dealer for allegedly violating her privacy. It is a mess, no question about it. Just one uh, observation, too, to make sure you understand how serious this is getting. The judge here, Judge McGinty, filed his own motion to quash his own testimony, filing it this morning in the court. And in it, he said, quote, that the attorneys here have misled the court and managed to create a sideshow. And many in the courtroom have agreed with that comment. We'll have much more coming up on, at 6 o'clock on News Channel 5. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Chief Investigator Dwayne Pullman. News Channel 5. You're right, Dwayne. That does sound like a complicated mess there. Well, we